October 2025, Gemini Observatory, Hawaii. Astronomers notice something impossible. An interstellar comet 3I, Atlas, traveling through our solar system with companions, not fragments drifting apart, not debris scattering into the void, but objects moving together, in formation, stable, for days. This shouldn't happen. Comets don't do this. Yet the data keeps confirming it. Something about this visitor from beyond our star doesn't follow the rules we've written. And the more we look, the stranger it becomes. It entered quietly. No media frenzy, no emergency broadcast. Just a faint signature of reflected light picked up by automated survey telescopes, another dim point moving against the background stars. At first, 3i, Atlas seemed unremarkable, the third confirmed interstellar object we'd ever detected, a cosmic traveler passing through, but then the observations began, and patterns emerged that shouldn't exist. Gemini Observatory North in Hawaii was among the first to notice the anomaly, multiple secondary objects, not scattering, not drifting away as fragments normally do when a comet breaks apart, moving with the primary body. Consistent spacing, aligned trajectories, stable positions. Day after day, telescope after telescope, across continents, the data matched. This wasn't instrument error. This wasn't a processing glitch. This was real. And it violated every model we had for how interstellar comets fragment and travel. So what holds these objects together? What force, natural or otherwise, maintains this impossible formation across the emptiness of space? The answers challenge everything we thought we understood about cometary physics. Then came the spectroscopy results, and they made the mystery deeper. Observers noticed a subtle green glow around 3i Atlas. In any normal comet, this would be straightforward dicarbon molecules, C2, fluorescing in sunlight. It's what gives many comets their distinctive color. Except 3i, Atlas appears to be low in carbon compounds. The glow is there. The chemistry that should cause it isn't. Multiple telescopes confirmed it. Independent teams verified it. The data was solid. The comet was glowing green, but not for the reason it should be. This tells us something profound. The internal composition of 3i Atlas may be fundamentally different from the comets born in our solar system. Different star systems form under different conditions, different temperatures, different chemical abundances. Their debris, their comets, may not match ours at all. But there was more. 3i ATL began releasing water vapor far earlier than expected. Most comets activate only when they approach the inner solar system, when the sun's heat finally penetrates their frozen cores. This object started outgassing much farther out, which means either its interior retains heat differently, or its structure allows heat to transfer more efficiently, or the ice is distributed in ways we've rarely, if ever, observed. No theory has been confirmed yet, but each possibility points to an internal architecture unlike anything in our catalog. Three anomalies, one object, and none of them should coexist. Yet here they are stable formation, unusual chemistry, early activation, all in one interstellar visitor. So what does this tell us about where it came from? Let's be absolutely clear about what we're seeing. This is not evidence of intelligence. This is not proof of technology. But it is behavior that does not match our current understanding of cometary mechanics. When a comet's nucleus fractures, when ice sublimates and internal pressures build, we expect chaos. Irregular spacing, changing rotation rates, fragments drifting apart as solar radiation and gravitational perturbations pull them in different directions. That's the physics we know. But 3i Atlas shows coherence. The secondary bodies move as if influenced by a shared history. Perhaps they formed together. Perhaps they broke apart together under specific conditions. Perhaps they're held in place by a mutual center of gravity we haven't properly modeled yet. 
This is an evidence of control. It's evidence of a natural process we don't yet understand. And that's exactly where science begins. This is the third interstellar object we've detected. Oumuamua, in 2017, surprised us with its elongated shape and unexplained acceleration. 2i, Borisov, in 2019, behaved like a normal comet, almost disappointingly ordinary after Oumuamua. And now 3i, Atlas, shows formation stability combined with chemical anomalies that don't fit our templates. Three objects, three different behaviors, three reminders that our sample size of the universe is absurdly small. We may simply be witnessing what's common elsewhere, but foreign to us. If you're fascinated by mysteries at the edge of our knowledge, subscribe now because 3i, Atlas is still approaching the sun, and what we learn next could rewrite cometary science Hit that like button if you want more coverage as the data comes in. So what's really happening here? The question isn't, is it artificial? The question is, why does this behavior occur naturally? Is it a structural composition we haven't modeled? Some arrangement of ice, rock, and volatiles that creates unexpected stability during fragmentation? Is it a breakup process driven by interstellar heating cycles, temperature changes over millions of years in the void between stars that condition the material in ways we've never replicated? Is it a gravitational configuration unique to the system where three I atlas formed, a binary object, a cluster of bodies bound by forces we haven't calculated correctly? Or is it a form of cometary clustering we simply don't understand, yet a phenomenon common in the galaxy but invisible to us because we've only studied objects from our own solar system? These are testable questions, which means this is science in motion, not speculation, not fantasy, but genuine inquiry into a reproducible observation. Some will notice the relative silence from major space agencies limited press releases, cautious statements. But silence doesn't mean secrecy. It means peer review. Data must be verified across multiple independent sources. Models must be checked for errors. Teams must reach consensus before making public statements. Because one rushed press release can create years of misinformation. This silence is caution, not conspiracy. And as 3i, Atlas moves closer to the sun, our instruments will gather more data. Some mysteries may resolve, others may only deepen. Because the universe has never cared about our comfort with the unknown. Here's what makes this moment extraordinary. We're witnessing a chance to see how another solar system builds its comet. We're getting a glimpse into the chemistry, the physics, the formation processes of a place we'll never visit delivered directly to our telescopes by an accident of orbital mechanics. This isn't just about one strange comet. It's about revising our models, our assumptions about planetary system diversity, our understanding of what's possible in the universe. Every interstellar object that passes through gives us data we can't get any other way. We can't send probes to other star systems, not yet. But occasionally, those systems send us samples and each one teaches us that the universe is more varied, more complex, more surprising than our limited experience suggested. The formation movement, the early outgassing, the unusual glow, each detail is a piece of a puzzle we didn't know existed. And that's the essence of astronomy. We're not here to confirm what we already believe. We're here to be surprised. Because the most meaningful moments in science aren't when we're proven right, they're when the universe shows us our understanding is still young. 3i, Atlas will continue its journey. It will pass the sun, gather momentum, and disappear back into interstellar space. But the questions it raises will remain. And perhaps if we're lucky, the next interstellar visitor will help us answer them. Or perhaps it will bring new mysteries entirely. Either way, we'll be watching, because the universe still holds secrets, and we were never trained to expect them. What detail intrigues you most, the formation stability, the early outgassing, or the chemical anomalies? Let me know in the comments. And if you think we should prioritize missions to intercept 
future interstellar visitors, hit subscribe because this conversation is just beginning.